Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I am Darren, of course. Today I'm going to do something totally different that I know I've never done on this channel before. We're going to do some retort canning with the JVR VAC 100. Then I'm going to show you how we're going to finish it off using this uh, All-American canner. Stay tuned guys, this is going to be fun. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter. All right, guys, if you uh, have ever followed my channel at all or followed me on Facebook or anything in the last um, eight months to a year, you'll know that I love the VAC 100 chamber sealer here from JVR. And they recently changed some features to this uh, particular uh, sealer. And um, I've already done a couple videos on that, so just check out my channel and, and check out the videos, the uh, different changes and, and all the uh, features of the VAC 100. One of the things that they just came out with because of uh, some demand that I've gotten from some people in my vacuum sealer groups and stuff on Facebook and some people have called JVR and asked them is for a seal bar that will work with this particular uh, chamber sealer to seal retort and mylar bags and they came out with one and I've already tested it out and it works just fine so you can actually you don't need to buy a whole other machine to do retort and mylar bags you can actually buy your regular VAC 100 chamber sealer and just buy the uh, sep sold separately retort seal bar and now you can actually do retort and mylar bags in your VAC 100 chamber sealer. <clears throat> if you're not familiar with what a retort or mylar bag is, mylar bags are more like the metal type bags that you see, you see used with potato chips and some other things in the store. And people use those for food storage for grains and stuff like that. They'll vacuum seal them and then they'll put an oxygen eater in there because even though you vacuum seal like rice and uh, macaroni and, and all kinds of grains there's still some air that's caught in between the uh, the grains and stuff so you put a little oxygen uh, eater a uh, little pack in there with that vacuum seal it up in the mylar bag and it can last you three or four or five years uh, sitting in that bag in your closet retort canning is uh, you guys will probably be more familiar with it you've seen little uh, bags like this of tuna fish or chicken on the shelf of your uh, supermarket and that's what this is this is like actually a metal can it's called a retort can and you can actually use these just like you would your ball jars or mason jars to do regular canning so you can actually put food in these uh, uh, retort bags vacuum seal them up finish them up in the canner and then these are sh they'll be shelf stable for you know two three years and um, you really, uh, most vacuum sealers, chamber sealers, won't allow you to seal these type of bags. That's why you need the special bar here for the VAC, uh, VAC 100 from JVR. So like your VAC masters, your, your basic VAC masters and stuff like that, really don't have the power on their seal bar to seal these bags. Because A, they're seven mil thick. B, they have aluminum and, and metal in here and see they just are too wide. So this particular seal bar from JVR is actually a lot thinner, but a very concentrated seal. And uh, we're gonna show you that in just a minute. And I'll actually show you how the regular seal bar would seal this bag and how the new uh, retort seal bar will seal it and show you the difference. And some other videos we're gonna get into actually doing some food but for this one, I just want to go over the seal bar in the VAC 100 and how they can actually use these uh, mylar or the mylar and the uh, retort bags, especially the retort bags. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I just wanted to show you here that the VAC 100, uh, how it uses these retort bags. And retort canning, like I said, is a little bit different than uh, using jars and, and all that for canning. These little uh, bags replace the jar, and so you can actually vacuum seal food in these, 
They come in a couple different sizes. They come in, this is a four ounce bag. They come in an eight ounce bag is uh, the one I'm gonna be using mostly. And uh, what I'm gonna do is just actually put some uh, emergency food in some of these bags and store them like I would if I was canning. So uh, some kind of uh, you know meat products and vegetable products. I'm gonna be able to can these and actually put them on the shelf and not have to worry about them being refrigerated. So. Uh, so very similar to canning vegetables or other products, these uh, retort bags, and like I said, you'll see them in, in your grocery store with the tuna and chicken, soup, and all kinds of different products in them sitting on the shelf that are not refrigerated. So we're gonna do, uh, show you just how the JVR VAC 100, using the regular seal bar, how it doesn't actually seal these bags, but that we're using the new, uh, retort seal bar from JVR that you can actually go ahead and seal these bags. So right now I got my regular seal bar in there that I would normally use for just vacuum sealing. And I got it set to my normal settings. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and just close this down. I don't have anything in the bag so it really doesn't need anything. I just kind of want to show you by using the regular seal uh, bar in most chamber sealers. Now there might be some more expensive that are commercial that have a seal bar that is uh, that will uh, use a re you can use retort bags with but you got to make sure because uh, they will actually say on there if they do but most of these commercial type uh, chamber sealers do not have built in a uh, seal bar that will use you can use retort or mylar bags with. You either got to get a special seal bar or a special machine. So all right, I went ahead and ran my seal cycle or vacuum cycle on this Mylar ba or retort bag here. And as you can see, it looks like it tried to seal air at the top, but as you can tell, it really didn't seal anything. So it's wide open. It didn't have enough power to uh, seal this bag. So we're going to go ahead, take out my original seal bar. I'm going to put in the retort seal bar. It's really easy to do. They slide in, slide out, right in these little pegs. I'm going to put it in the same spot where it was before. And when you buy one of these, it's only $50 through JVR. When you buy one of these, they actually will send you little instructions on the time and temps. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to seal this. All right, guys. So now I'm going to use my uh, retort seal ba uh, bar for the uh, Vac 100. So it's only uh, fifty dollars through uh, JVR on their website, and you'll find it under their uh, you know, right with their Vac 100 uh, merchandise. They have the extra parts and oil, and then this seal bar is a specialty bar. So I already got this set up pre-programmed in my. Uh, VAC 100, it's one of the things you can do with the VAC 100 is do pre-programmed settings. So P3 for me is for the uh, retort packages. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up and show you the difference. So like I said, I'm going to let this just run a regular cycle, just like there was something in there, the vacuum seal. But we're really just looking at the actual seal itself. Remember the regular seal bar did not seal the top of the bag. It just can't because it's not built to do that. So this one is specially made for it. <clears throat> and um, like I said, the when you buy this seal bar, you'll get the instructions here from back, uh, from JVR on what the seal bar settings need to be, your, your actual sealing settings and your cooling settings for the Mylar and the Retort bags. All right. So now that's run its cycle, and you can see that that bag is now sealed at the top. It's a little bit, it's a lot narrower seal, and it's gone all the way through the bag, and there's absolutely no way that you will be able to get this open. I'll try to open it here at the top. If I can show you there. Uh, uh, <coughs> So you can pull on this all day long and you're not going to open it. So it's completely sealed. 
you, if you were, uh, had, had your stuff in here, your food in here, you'd be able to put it in your canner, pressure cook it for uh, whatever time for you, that particular food, take it out, cool it down, be able to set it on the shelf for a couple of different couple of years or so. So there you go, guys. That is the JBR VAC 100 Retort in Mylar Bag Sealing Bar. Check it out on JBR.com and a link, link below. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Check out the Fire and Water Cooking Podcast. And I'll see you again on the next Fire and Water Cooking video. We'll actually do some retort canning and show you how it's done. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.